Well, good to have you with us. Now, SARS is planning to intensify collections in the next season. They want your money. It's also eyeing South African expats. That's right. If you leave the country, you can't forget about SARS. But believe me, they do not forget about you. Uh, specifically, those who have not financially emigrated. The long arm of the taxman, very scary, and regulations are very technical. Uh, so let's try and break it down for someone like me who hasn't got a clue how it works. Luckily, expatriate tax lawyer Martin Besaitenhout uh, joins us this morning. Martin, hello to you. I'm afraid it's going to be an uh, expat tax class 101 uh, for someone like me because the very basis of what I understand, uh, the people who are able to immigrate, normally highly affluent, high LSMs, they leave the country with that money that, goes, that should go to the fiscus, but then we never hear from them again. Just how bad is this when it comes to immigrating and not paying your taxes? It's really basically non-compliance, um, Gareth. To be honest, if you if you um, leave the country and you still remain a South African tax resident, you still need to declare your worldwide income to SARS, which is detrimental if you don't do that because that's a non-declaration. So there's a couple of options available to you as expatriate to be, remain compliant, protect that foreign income, and one of those options is um, to seize your tax residency through the financial immigration process. Because it's quite tricky, isn't it? Because I think there's this uh, perception from people who are emigrating that once they've sold the house and they found a, a shelter for their pets, that they then leave us for Australia, never to be heard from again. But uh, as I say, the long arm of the tax man will find you anywhere you go. It's, it's how, how, do, how do they do that? How do they get that right? Yeah, so um, leaving the country it doesn't automatically seize your tax residency. So. The global reporting standards are already in swing, so the long arm of the taxman is extended. Um, banking institutions, foreign tax authorities, everyone is talking to each other as well. So if you're um, expatriates of African expatriate, you've never gone formally through this process to seize your tax residency. You're earning income abroad, the SARS will know about that. Not if, if it's not in the next year, in the future. So when we then talk about uh, settling your your tax bill, etc. here, I mean, it's not as simple as just paying everything back to SARS. Help me understand, for someone who might be going through the process now, Martin, they, they're leaving a job now here in South Africa. They're obviously paying their tax. They're paying their PAYE, their UIF, all that, for example. They then leave their job. They move to, for example, Australia. I'll give the most common one. And they start earning in Australian dollars. Where does SARS end? At what point does SARS end when you no longer earn a South African salary? Or even if you're earning, example, Australian dollars and you still have a bit of a tax bill, is it up to the client to ensure that they're paying back that money? The reason I'm asking the question is, what legal power does SARS have over you in another country? Can they garnish you your salary, for example? Yeah, so if you move abroad, um, and you're earning foreign income. As a South African tax resident, that is, you need to declare that. So non non declaration of any income um, is a is a fate. It can lead to criminal prosecution. Um, so it's a very serious offence not to declare your foreign income. It's not just simply leaving. Your exit needs to be planned. Um, if you're leaving and you're earning above one million two hundred fifty thousand rand per year, then you open yourself up to possible double taxation because you're going to be taxed in the jurisdiction where you find yourself. So it, it, it's, it's an international law as well. Um, mm. if, they, if they can find you, they will find you. It's, <laughs> it's, really, it's really important for you as a South African tax resident, if you want to stay a South African tax resident, to declare your foreign income and then claim the exemption under Section 10, uh, um, 102. Um, if you have that intention to permanently reside abroad, you can seize your tax residency through the financial immigration. Um, if you're a non-tax resident, you don't need to declare your foreign income. It will only be South African source income that you need to declare. Um, so that also your your tax ties are not cut if you cease to be a tax resident. If you still have South African um, source income, that still needs to be declared okay. to SARS on an annual basis. It's just your foreign income that um, doesn't need to be declared. So this extends to foreign assets. Um, so it's, it's very important for you to speak to someone that has knowledge about this whole process before you make that jump. Um, we call it an exit strategy. You must have an exit strategy in place when you 
making their jump to move abroad um, because uh, the repercussions are severe. Um, no, they, they are, never Martin, and I've, I've only got uh, just a moment left with you, Martin. I want to just get this question in now. Mm -hmm. You're saying talk to someone who knows all about this. This is why we've got you on to talk to you about this. Uh, someone who might be thinking about emigrating at this point, what, give me one piece of advice for them. Where do they start this process because there's a lot you're talking about South African taxable income yeah. if you've got South African assets but you're living overseas what's the most common mistake people generally make before I say goodbye to you they just leave without um, having an exit strategy in place in terms of their South African tax status um, there's no exit strategy they don't know what they need to do it doesn't happen automatically that's the most important factor you need to know you're not you're leaving the country you need to take care of SARS you need to close that door and I appreciate uh, the advice, and hopefully people are going to take that advice and uh, even perhaps uh, get hold of you as well. Martin Bersay, notes. I'm sure you can find him online, expatriate tax lawyer, uh, talking about it. So do not run away. The ostrich in the sand uh, scenario doesn't work, especially when it comes to the tax man. Doesn't matter where you go, Uncle Sars will find you and he will take your money.